Hello, I'm Richard and here are today's headlines from Pink 60. One of central London's longest standing gay venues has announced that it will close at the end of this month. First Out Cafe Bar, located on St Giles High Street behind the Centrepoint building, will continue to operate until October 31st. A professional rugby player has been scolded by Rugby World Cup organisers after publicly branding gay referee Nigel Owens a racist. Samoan centre Eliota Sapalu made the comments via microblogging site Twitter over the weekend after losing to South Africa 13-5. Two professors from American religious universities claim they have evidence to show that sexual orientation can be changed. The study results have been contested by other academics who say that while behaviour may change, sexual orientation remains the same. An American study says that openly gay men are less likely to be called back for job interviews, particularly in the South. The research found that CVs which indicate an applicant is gay are 40% less likely to be granted an interview. And finally, chart-topping singer Jesse J has been confirmed as the first of four celebrity coaches for BBC One's primetime talent show, The Voice. The star was most recently seen on ITV's X Factor as a guest judge for Talisa Contestavlos. That's all from us today. Join us again tomorrow.